Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn uh, how to transform a data based on one of the financial report. And you will learn some awesome tips and tricks regarding Microsoft Power Query, where we will be transforming one data set, uh, which is uh, generally extract by ERP application Oracle and the user wants to transform that data in order to create a good database so that it could be further used for analytics and we can put it into pivot table or for any other purpose so let's get start as you can see here one column uh, of description and here what we have got from one of the software is we have uh, extracted expanded report uh, one one of the financial report or you can say uh, management information system report for the internal usage and th there is only one column which uh, represents some of uh, that particular profit and loss headers just like interest receive uh, interest paid net revenue from funds and each of the line has been expanded by a different uh, field you can see here uh, the first these numbers represent to the uh, journal ledgers code or a sub ledger codes then we have the location business and department codes and what we need to do is we need to bring this data into the power uh, query and we want the output just like this so we will have uh, the description the original data column and what we need to do is we need to split uh, further uh, we we want a column which uh, shows us the line des description and that is repeating every time until the new line description starts right so this is provision journal then we have gain and loss on sale of security then we have dividend income so we need this kind of column then we need to split uh, the further this description column into uh, other four categories like Subledgers, location, business, and department. Okay, so that that's how we will solve this query. Uh, we can also do with the help of Excel formulas and functions. So let me take you to one of the practical report. So here, this is profit and loss uh, expanded report by an ERP application, and we have imported that data into Excel. So you can see here, uh, the first column is of description where you can see all the profit and loss uh, line items which are expended by the company's serial number and the uh, businesses. And on the next columns, uh, we have different time period and their balances just like period to date balance for the current month, period to date actual balance for the last month. Then we have forecasting column and then variance column. Then we have uh, more columns of different time periods like YTD year to date. And then we have current run rate, required run rate, YTD actual for the last year, YTD forecast for this year, current year, right? So these kind of uh, formatted reports or you can say expanded reports by different, dom different fields extracted by ERP application just like Oracle and what the purpose of uh, transforming this data is to make sure that uh, we can just split this first column different fields into each of the column so that we can create a pivot table for further analysis as per own our purpose right so this is basically uh, the motive and as I told you that you can resolve this kind of issue with the help of some helper columns and using some Excel functions and creating your own customized formulas. So here you can see that uh, to, to create this kind of columns or splitting the column, uh, first we have uh, used the logic of uh, some of the Excel functions like is number, value, left, trim, the, the combination of four different functions and created a formula where uh, it generates a boolean value of true and false and on this particular logic we can extract uh, the line item names uh, to be repeat until the new line item name is starting from anywhere and then we need to split also the sub ledger codes and businesses and departments so here you can see uh, you need to use some of the text functions and the combination of logical functions as well just like if value mid trim 
right so this takes a lot of time uh, for the user to think of of a kind of a logic and you know that when your report is too big now this is one of the sample report which starts from uh, the interest receive and just goes down to profit after tax that's the formal format of any PNL of the organization and here you can see almost 16,000 of, of raws so this is just a one report of one time period but imagine that if you are extracting uh, the last 12 months rolling report uh, expanded report by business location department right so it, it could be like 50,000 of raws and if you put excel functions and formulas into that to ex to split the column based on some logics it sometimes slow down your workbook as well now without uh, thinking of an excel formula uh, by a user if he knows the power query so without writing any kind of m language code just he needs to uh, pick the proper utilities or features available in power query and he can just transform this data so I hope this example is clear to you. This is one of the practical example which I have added in my this particular video tutorial that uh, once you got the extracted report, expanded long report from any ERP application and you want to transform that for, for the further purposes for the analysis. So how you can get through it through Power Query, not by Excel functions, right? So this is one of the column uh, and on this column we will be applying some features of Power Query and we will not be writing any kind of Excel formula which saves a lot of time. And if you have already used Power Query, you know that in Power Query, whatever the steps you will be applying that uh, is recorded for, for, for future use and whenever your data gets append, you just need to click the refresh button. That's super awesome. But as compared to the Excel formulas, you need to copy down Excel formulas and functions every time, right? Okay, so we will transform this particular uh, first column, column A data into some uh, different columns splitting. Uh, and this will be the output right so how to get this particular end result so let's get start now my this particular data is already being in the table format and now I will go to the data tab data I will click on from sheet now this will open a new window that is power query editor window where we can start transforming our data as as our required so now we have this column what I will do is I will just right click and I will click on duplicate column okay so now we have got description dot copy right and we have description column so we will apply the splitting techniques on this description column so I will right click and I will go to this uh, split column and I will click by digit to non digit now what it does is it just uh, split uh, this previous column of description into three new columns that is description one which includes the title of uh, each line item of the profit and loss report and the sub ledger codes right and then we have the region business and department in second column and third column is absolutely contains nothing so we don't need that so what what we will do right click and remove column right now let's come to this particular column which is description dot one where we have the name of the line items and also the codes the sub ledger codes we need to split that as well so right click split column and now this time we will select non digit to digit super cool now we have got uh, splitting uh, of each of the line item in a separate column and the sub ledger codes in a separate column right next thing is that we also need to basically trim the extra spaces in this particular column and we need to also split this one column into three columns like we need to have uh, the region in a separate column business in a separate column and department in a separate column now remember that we are not writing any kind of code or any kind of formula and this makes us very easy 
to transform uh, data like these on these kind of financial reports right otherwise users are generally uh, busy in making some logics and after 30 minutes one hour or even two hours they come to that logic so it's time consuming if you use excel formulas on this kind of data transformation i recommend that if you have not explored power query do recommend uh, do ex start exploring if you are an accounting professional finance professional or even it doesn't matter that on which background you belongs to if you are a generally an excel user and you want to switch yourself into the modern power bi tools within excel the power query and power pivot is now very much uh, primarily essential for every user to explore in terms of doing data transformation and advanced analytics so I hope after this video you will start journey in exploring Power Query for data transformation and basically it's an ETL tool that is extract transform and loading. Alright so let's split this. First I will go to transform and I will click on format and I will click on trim so that extra spaces could be removed here and also I will apply uh, this particular step of trimming on my this first column okay now let me split that right click split columns and I will go to this time by clicking on by delimiter this will open up a new dialog window and I will select the space rightmost delimiter and I will click OK right so now we have we got the departments here as well okay again right click split columns by delimiter the rightmost delimiter and then click OK. All right, so now you can see that it's basically it's, there are also non-breaking spaces available here. So it's just uh, uh, not giving us the desired results as quickly. So let me also show you a quick approach to of doing it. So I will just undo my previous steps. Remember that Control Z will not work here if you want to undo any step. So you can just uh, come to the right side and in the applied steps category whatever the step you want to make sure that you want to delete just press the cro cross icon okay all right so let me just undo that previous steps all right so I will do here is is a quick technique is could be split columns by delimiter space and I will select each occurrence of the delimiter okay and I will press ok now see that it, it just makes a lot of columns where most of the columns are blank and some contains the number. So we don't want these all blank columns, right? And we want to quickly delete those uh, until unless you are very basic user and you want just clicking on each of the column and clicking on remove button, but we will quickly remove the unnecessary columns. So whatever the columns we want, we will just select those. So I will select the first column control key second column third column then I will use the scroll bar coming towards the right side still I have pressed the control key and left click of my mouse so these are the columns which we are required and those which are not selected we don't want so what I will do is right click and we will say this time remove other columns so it will quickly remove other columns right okay now we need to fill this particular uh, blank cells so that each line item should repeat right so we have that option also available uh, in the transform tab we will go to fill and click on fill down so now we will fill this particular first column and I have al already recorded that step so let me show you alright so now we will fill down so we will go to the transform tab and we will click on fill down right and then the last step would be just to rename the headers so we can just double click and we can say description to the first column then SL codes business oh that is the location then this is business department right and once we are done with all the transformation steps we can just click on close and load so now here you can see uh, 52 rows has been loaded and what's the best part is that for example in in future if you 
add some more data in the original data source where I can say this can be profit after tax for example right and we don't need to apply all the steps again now you can observe here I will go to this end result I will go to the data tab and I will then click on refresh and as soon as I refresh you can see here uh, you can see easily the data has been transformed and updated right so this is how you can uh, get through all the transformations without writing any kind of M language code or formulas or functions and you can get around all those steps yes so that I hope you like this uh, practical query based on one of the financial report and it's very easy to learn power query thank you